Hello, this is David McCullough, author and narrator of the audiobook The Wright Brothers. I found The Life and Times of the Wright Brothers to be a profoundly American story about two of the most remarkable Americans of all time, about whom a great deal more should be known, and how much more there was to them than what is commonly said or taught. They were men of exceptional gifts, but best of all was their inexhaustible curiosity and the desire, the determination to do things right and to not let setbacks stop them in their mission. They were far more interested in far more about art and music and architecture and history and reading than most people have had any idea. And truly, one of the most fascinating parts of the whole story for me in doing the research has been the part played by their exceptional sister, Catherine, without whom I'm inclined to believe things would not have turned out as they did. I think one of the greatest surprises for me, and an example that I will take to heart, and I hope others will take to heart from now on, and that is their capacity their talent for using our English language in a superb and often very persuasive manner. They had been taught to read and write at home by their father primarily, and because they never stopped reading and because they could express themselves so effectively, they were carried through to success with their work in a way they might not have been otherwise. And I hope in particular, that that example will reach an enormous number of young people trying to make their mark, trying to live up to their aspirations in the times that we have now. I feel also very strongly that there are lessons to be learned from their lives, how they conducted themselves, how they behaved as gentlemen and citizens, their loyalties, their honesty, their modesty that we very much need to be reminded of, particularly in our own time. I'd also like to say that I believe strongly in the audio form of literature, history, and biography. I feel I felt my whole writing life, as was demonstrated by so many of the greats of the past, Dickens, for example, that it's important to write for the ear no less than the eye, and to hear what is on paper said aloud to you or read aloud to you conveys the emotion or the importance of what's in a single sentence in a way that often a reader skims right by without any effect.